Hello Internet. Today I have this motherboard that I bought for myself, which came with this 12900KS CPU, which is theoretically the last generation of Intel CPUs that does not have problems we're all hearing about lately. The board itself came with a good discount because one of the memory slots is damaged and needs to be replaced. The board still works, as you would expect, but I can't help myself staring at this damage and let it go, so I want to make it right. There are two types of slots for DDR5 memory that look slightly different as you can see. These two are surface mount slots and there are also through hole types which go through the board. The two types of slots you've seen are UDIMM and RDIMM. This memory stick tester, for example, supports both types. And these slot testers are also different to match the slot. So if you are in this type of work, make sure you get both. With that out of the way, let's get started. For obvious reasons, we need to remove absolutely everything that is removable from the motherboard. Otherwise, things are not designed to withstand high heat, can melt, or get damaged. Then, the critical part here is to be absolutely sure that the motherboard sits perfectly flat on whatever preheater you have. In my case, I used this cheap Chinese preheater that I had slightly modified to be as flat as the earth, even though the earth isn't that very flat anyway, and also as straight as possible, because most of the things that come from China is not straight. Except for the Chinese themselves. Those guys are pretty straight. With all of the critical components such as capacitors are protected from the heat and the slot is soaked in flux, it's time to heat up this sucker to a melting point and try to get it off. Unfortunately, it doesn't want to come off on its own, so I had to add a little bit of leaded solder around the pins. And after that, it finally came off in two pieces. With the pads clean and prepared to receive a new slot, slot was positioned and soldered back on, but I got too excited and I held the heat for too long, causing a slight noticeable damage, as you can see here. Finishing touches with the ground pins followed by cleaning and installing the CPU, we are ready to test the socket and see if it connects to the CPU with all the pins. All LEDs are red, we're good. As mentioned before, slight burn marks on the slot, but nothing is warped, so it should be okay. I also didn't know these could be removed, so one got melted. Oh well, learn something new every day. In any case, once everything was assembled and the Rogue logo was lit, it was time to press the power button and see what it does. Waiting for postcodes to complete and... We have a picture. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've learned something new today. Goodbye.